Nightfall, I'm out on my porch smoking. I don't like writing, but I have written. And there's, there's about 22 minutes in there where I feel like worthwhile and valuable, and like I've accomplished something. And then the sense of dread returns immediately. <laughs> Wait, after 22 minutes? Give or take, you know, I can, if I pile a movie in there, where I can kind of not think about anything, it can, it can, it can last, but I really got to rush to get to the movie theater, so I can be there before I start worrying about shit again. What if you just stayed home and smoked and watched movies, like, for a seriously long time? I, I'm not, I'm not particularly good company, I gotta say, I'm, I'm, I'm really in a bad neighborhood when I'm by myself. I just, I, I need, I, I need to be among others. No, you can have people over. <laughs> now, now, now you're assuming and teasing me about the fact that I have no friends. Thank you. I'm, I'm gonna need it's you fucking to hot up here. <laughs> God. Okay. I, that's right. Did you just date me? No, I dated you. Okay. No, you didn't. You called him Dave. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you called him Dave. I called him Dave. Thank you. You know what I know? Dave. Thank, thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Hey, my name is Mike. Hey, my name is Mike. Hey, my name is Mike. Watch for him on BBC America where he'll have a guide to the Olympics. And the Olympics are in London, right? Okay. And uh, on May 22nd, his book, Tasteful Nudes, comes out. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is David Carr of the New York Times. David, yeah. thank you for joining us. I'm going to ask you a few questions that came in in advance. Uh, do you get nervous during flights uh, with turbulence? Absolutely not. I'm, uh, I've been in some bad airplane rides, and I'm a thought it too clearly, and it's not how I die. It's not, I'm, I'm completely and totally confident. Every 